Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I pray that everybody is doing well. I pray that you all had a blessed week. I pray that you all are still continuing to be safe in the midst of everything that's going on out here in this world. I wanted to come on here real quick. I wanted to talk about two things. I saw a video um, on Larry Reed's Live's Facebook and he posted a video clip of a, a famed gospel singer and if you've seen the video then you know who I'm talking about and she was talking about how she went down and she was praying and she heard God speak to her and tell her not to get vaccinated um, now out of in one breath, she said, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. But then in the other breath, she says, was pretty much telling people not to take the vaccine. Now, here's the thing. And this is not just speaking about being vaccinated, but anything as it pertains to religion and spirituality. Everybody's walk with Christ is different. God deals with everybody about certain things differently so just because God speaks to you and tells you not to do something or he speaks to you and tells you to do something or he speaks to you and tells you don't wear this stop hanging out with this person stop watching this type of show or this type of movie stop listening to that type of music just because he deals with you on that level about certain things don't try to pass off your convictions on somebody else that's the reason why so many people that are bound up by religion right now because people have passed off their own personal convictions onto somebody else instead of allowing people to grow into their own relationship with Christ and learn how to talk to God and to hear from God for themselves so if God spoke to you and told you not to take the vaccine, then don't take the vaccine. But what I will say is this, you better be sure that it was God that told you that and it wasn't something else. You make sure you didn't hear something else. Because I seen a comment that somebody posted where they said, where the woman said, my sister in Christ uh, was anointing her house and anointing her doors and she chose not to get vaccinated. Because she said God was going to protect her. And then she was like, they buried her last week and she died from COVID. So you better make sure. <laughs> I mean, because this thing is serious. I mean, this people are, out, people are dying from this. Like I said, if you choose not to get the vaccination, I'm not on here to, to tell you whether I feel like you should or should. I am fully vaccinated. But if you choose not to be vaccinated, I, I do feel that you need to take extra precaution to keep yourself safe. Um... But like I said, if you're saying that God has told you not to get vaccinated, you better be sure without a shadow of a doubt that it was God that told you that and you didn't hear that from another source. But anyway, um, so the next thing, the next thing I want to talk about is this. So I saw a video of a preacher. Um, I don't know him personally, but I know who he is because he's came and preached at my, he's been invited to preach at my church a couple of, actually, I think he's coming to preach in January. But anyway, from the excerpt of the clip, he basically was saying that if you're a, a preacher, apostle, bishop, and you're single and not ready to mingle, that you're either gay or you're pleasuring yourself. And so then he went on to quote the scripture that you know, it's not good for man to be alone. Now, the issue that I have with that is personally, and you know, some people may, may disagree. Personally, I do believe that it's in everybody to want to be in a relationship. However, every your desire may not be be to be in a relationship at this moment like for me personally i desire to be married you know have a wife and be married but at this particular point in my life i know that spiritually financially mentally emotionally i'm not ready to be become a husband 
but that doesn't mean that I'm gay and it sure don't mean that I'm pleasuring myself. That just means that I know where I am in my life and I know that I'm not ready for that type of responsibility. Um, and not only that, but if you know that that's not where your desire is right now, why engage in relationships when you know that, cause I'm the type of person, like I'm, I'm not the type of person that's going to be dating just to be dating or just, you know, just to say I'm in a relationship. If I'm going to date you, I'm dating you with the intentions of you to possibly be my wife. And so, and with that being said, because I'm not in a place now where I'm ready, ready to be married, like I said, the desire is there, but I'm not at this particular point in my life, that's not where my focus is. So I'm not going to involve myself in a relationship when I know that that relationship is not, um, may, it may not lead in marriage. Now that's not to say that I don't have female friends or that I don't uh, entertain females, but as far as an a actual relationship is concerned, that's not where my focus. I hope that y'all. I hope y'all can understand what I'm saying. Now, granted, there I do. I do believe that there are some people, and not just men, women too. That you know, it. Well, and, and also this. The, I, I do believe that there are because there were people like that in the Bible. I do believe that there are people who God calls to a life of singleness because the the work that they have to do, being in a relationship and all of that, it could be a hindrance or a distraction from them walking fully in what God has called them to do. Now, I, I, I don't I don't think it's a whole lot of them, but I do believe that there are some out there. There is even a prophet in the Bible. And I can't remember off the top of my head. But I, I do specifically remember in the scripture, God telling that prophet not to take a wife because it was going to distract him from doing what it is that God called him to do. But I do believe, like I said, I don't think there's a whole lot of them out there. And I do believe that if God has called you to a life of singleness, he will sustain you. Because just because if, because just because God calls you to a life of singleness, that doesn't mean that that desire to be in a relationship is, is not going to be there. And that doesn't mean that the desire that you're not going to get urges, you're not going to you know be in your you know your flesh is not going to get excited. But I do believe that God will sustain you. Now, going back to what I was saying, I do believe that there are some people who are like he said single and not ready to mingle and they are you know pleasuring themselves or you know are same sex attracted but to try to blanket that over everybody that was really where my issue was because you can't try to generalize something over everybody when it's really only really only pertains to a, a certain group or a certain amount of people um and you can see in the video where everybody in the church was like, "Yeah, go ahead, Pastor." But to be honest, I probably, I honestly believe that some of the people that was that was amen to him the, the loudest, those are probably the ones he was talking about. Cause one thing I've learned, one thing I've learned, and that I witnessed in church, a lot of times when the pastor or the preacher get to cutting or get to rebuking real hard, even if he's talking about you, you still you still be clapping and saying amen, so the people don't know he's talking about you. <laughs> But anyway, like I said, I hope y'all got what I was trying to say. But y'all leave y'all comments down below. I'm going to see if I can go back to Larry Reed's page so I can find the videos and I'm going to post them in my description box so you can go back and watch. And I and I think what I also am going to do too is actually go back and watch the full version. I'm The full version of both videos because sometimes when you're watching a clip, you can kind of things can be taken out of context versus when you watch the whole listen to the whole sermon because like I said the past, the preacher that I was talking about I actually like I like the way he preaches it's just that particular thing it kind of rubbed me the wrong way and you y'all should have seen the comments but anyway y'all leave your comments down below y'all tell me how y'all feel about that 
be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so i also be sure to click that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i post uploads um and for those of you all who are wondering i'm still in the process of trying to get those charges disputed on my account so i, I will be back out with a full video explanation once everything is resolved but anyway I will talk to y'all later. Peace.